Hello and welcome everyone. I am Harsh Bhardwaj and today we will be discussing about for loops in C++. So what's in it for you? What is a for loop? Its flowchart diagram and it's working. So let's get started. The for loop is a repetition control structure which allows us to execute a specific code segment for a finite number of iterations. This loop repeats a statement while a condition is true and it also terminates the execution if the condition becomes false. Now, coming to the flowchart diagram and it's working. For a for loop, we have three arguments, namely initial state, condition and updation, which can either be increment or decrement. So now let's discuss these three parameters. First is initial state or initialization. In this part, we declare or initialize loop control variables. This part is executed first and only once. Now after that, there is a condition. Now if the condition is true, the loop will continue. Otherwise, the loop will end and the execution will jump to the statements that are just after the loop body. And at last, there is updation. Once the loop body has been executed, the control jumps to the increment or decrement. After that, again the condition is evaluated. If it's true, the loop body is executed and this continues. To understand this better, let's go through some examples on our text editor that is VS Code. If getting your learning started is half the battle, what if you could do that for free? Visit SkillUp by Simply Learn. Click on the link in the description to know more. So here, first of all, we'll create a new file. and name that file for loop one dot cpp now here we will do the program for, to print first 10 natural numbers so first of all we'll write hash include by a stream Using namespace study. Now int main. Now here, first of all, we'll create a variable i. Now here we will display a message. The first ten natural numbers are. After that end line now we'll write for loop first of all we'll initialize the variable this is the condition up to which the loop will be executing after that there is updation I'll increment this now we will display or print i now let's run this code here we go the first 10 natural numbers are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So now let's move to another example that is to find the sum of first n natural numbers. Let's make another new file and name it. First of all, we'll write hash include iostream. Stream. 
then using namespace std int name now we will declare a variable i and then another variable that is n after that we will initialize a variable sum now we will display a message saying that input the number up to which you want to find the sum line now we will take input from the user now we will write the for loop initialize it with one and less than equal to n here it means the loop will keep on executing till i is less than n. After that, there is updation that is i plus plus. Here we have use increment operator. After that, inside the loop, we will display i. Now we will write sum equals sum plus i we have already initialized sum as 0 now i will keep on adding from 1 up to n 1 by 1 as we have used the increment operator now after that we will display sum is is and we'll write the sum variable now we'll try to run the code input the number up to which you want to find the sum let's write 10 so here we see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 the sum of all these digits is 55 and this is the right answer so these were some basic examples of for loop in c++ so with that we have come to the end of the video i hope it really helped you all thanks for watching stay safe and keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here